guys and welcome back to my channel as you go right in here if you didn't know now you know and that's legit um period so we just finished episode 9 of vampire diaries and we're going to pick up where we left off at episode 10 which is the turning point super excited like i was like let me just go ahead and continue because i really want to know what's about to happen next like i don't know i'm on the edge of my seat right now i'm trying to figure out but before we jump into this video, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, so that way you can be up to date with whenever I upload. Also, thumbs up this video because it helps the channel and it helps the algorithm, so I appreciate all your love and support. So with further ado, let's jump right into it. Who brought him back? Wrong, just invite me in and I'll tell you everything. No, I'm not going to invite you in. Forget it. Come on, Jen. No. It's me. No. What if it's that guy? The teacher, what is like Caroline's mother going to say when she sees him? Do not attack that old guy or woman that is running. Keep running. What? <gasps> Poor Daphne, I told you to run, but you didn't listen. You get it. You get what you deserve at that point. You should listen to me. Stop. Dude, that's some demonic stuff in there. He actually like looks so much better now that Vicky is out of the picture. Am I the only one that sees this or thinks so? No, London maybe. See some friends. You don't have any friends. <laughs> You're right, Stefan. I only have you. So <laughs> where are we going? We are not going anywhere. There's been another attack. A female victim. With throat torn out, completely drained of blood. If it's the pattern. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I thought we solved that problem with sleep. Hey, I'm not sure we need to. She cancer. is Carol. I mean, not Caroline. Me Elena's and friend. What is wrong with you? You killed somebody? Get off of me. A, don't touch me. It wasn't him. And B, if I had, it would have been so obvious about it. I kept walking. Like, for real. Hi. Like, look, you're playing games. I can't. I mean, it must be somebody new because leaving a body like that, they're either sloppy or they're trying to send a message. And you're sure it's not Damon? Well, I'm never sure about Damon, but he's been trying to keep a low profile lately, so it just doesn't make any sense to me. So what are you going to do? Damon's tracking them right now. Sometimes the show does weird angle shots and it's annoying. Like that just didn't make sense with the whole door. You made me like this. I killed you. I didn't turn you. See, I know what you and your brother are. I've been watching the two of you. I knew you'd show up here. And I'm glad you did because I have some questions. The mother vampire found you. Gave you their blood. Uh, who? That's what I want. That's what I want to know too. It's not like the welcome wagon was waiting with a bunk cake and a. Hand. I can't get into my house because my foot won't go through the door. You have to be invited in. I know. I live alone. Oh, that, that sucks. So it's nowhere safer than a crowded public place. And for once, Mary. Even so, that's not even off. safe. For real. It's culture, and culture implies well, not you. Oh, don't tell me they're gonna be besties now. Cause that's a no. We don't want them to be friends. So it's true than you and Stefan? Yeah, it is. How it, you know. What about you, Matt Donovan? I heard about Caroline. All I could think about is Max's girlfriend. I want to be with her and bite her and stuff. No. Well, you probably love her. You got to tell me. How can you walk around in the sun? Who turned you? How do you walk in the sun? I wanted to be a doctor before everything happened. But, uh, and I couldn't, because... The blood? For your, uh, plans for the future. I don't want to talk about I my mean, future, Stefan. This conversation should have happened before you all slept together. When y'all first went in, out on a date. You can't. Wait, Logan fell? He knows who the vampire is. How you get there, though? Is it dark outside? Yeah. I'm quite the celebrity in this town. It would be 
very, very easy for me to expose you. Don't ever threaten me again. Tell him. Mm. Yes. That's what I want to hear. Somebody put this dude in his place, cause... He kept trying to convince me to let him in. What? They're working yeah. together. It's this, it's that guy. So the teacher turned Logan into a vampire. Damn, mother. What are you gonna do? Stake me? Bury me in another shallow grave? What would the email say this time? Watch your back, Sheriff. Where are you taking him? You're gonna always be talk. fighting forever. I'll fight you in the head, Sheriff. Don't you think? She gonna get turned too. This time, officially get turned. Now this is. Go ahead. Fight. You want us to what? I'm not gonna fight. I'm dead. I don't think so, sir. Vampire dude Fight. is coming. Come on, Dad. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Yep. I said fight! We're good here. Go back inside. I don't want to go back inside. What I want is an answer to my question. What's going on out here? You about to go against a vampire. And now it all makes sense why Tyler is the way that he is. Because his dad. I hate everybody in this show. Because they act like they're intimidating. And they're not. Tyler probably about to get a whooping when he get home watch. About to get that ass toe up. Your daughter has expressed an interest in journalism. I think it's important to foster young minds. So is Damon about to be a good guy now? Can it's we get rid of him for good? Lanter? How can you say It's the teacher! You piss me off. I want you Why dead. Why are they listening to me? Who turned you? I don't know. Oh, well. You're screwed. Wait, wait! I do know! You're lying. Do you think you're the only one that wants to get in that tomb? Underneath the old church? If you were lying to me, I will end you. I am not lying. There's another way to break the spell. We can help you. Meet me at the old church. Take me down. Make a look real. Make a look real. <laughs> it's a full moon. Where's the wolves? That would have been interesting if Taylor Lautner showed up. For real, for real. What? I was buried in it. This is different. It doesn't make it any less painful. Very different. I don't know what you're talking about. I hate when people be trying to compare their situation to somebody else's that is way worse. You guys. Hold on, I just wanted to say this real quick. I literally have a coworker, right? Well, two coworkers. So, but this one particular coworker, it's like, it's a competition. Everything with her is a competition. So you could be like, man, like, I had knee surgery last week. And then the month before that, I had like, um, to go to the doctor because I had a sprain of finger or whatever. Like, you could sit here and tell her like, some of your medical issues and then she would make it about her and bring up all her medical issues like this girl sit here and said she's allergic to the sun she's allergic to water she's allergic to grass she's allergic to meat she like this girl literally she didn't had surgery on her legs multiple times then she had it in her back, like surgery in her back and in her arm, like all kinds of medical issues. And it's just like, you could literally be in a simple conversation, just saying what you just experienced like a few days ago. And then she makes it all about her. Like it's a freaking competition. It's so annoying. Ugh. Okay, back to the story. You don't get to make that decision. Oh, and then again, it says Elena. She likes to make away, everything about her too. It's for you. I'm so irritated. He like literally forced himself to cry. That was terrible acting. And they're forcing this crap still. It's so freaking annoying. <sighs> this is not romantic at all. This is all forced. This whole scene is a cringe. Go do homework. Like for real. This is annoying. <sighs> I'm not sorry. I do not ship them. It's so annoying. I hate when shows do this. 
And maybe it's just me because I'm like an actor. But like, honestly. Who are you? Friend of Told you. Was that supposed to be a threat? I thought they were working together. Can you throw a punch? Can you get rid of him? Get maybe. rid of him. Because you have no idea who you're talking to. Thank you. We're ending Logan. I can sleep in peace. She's got this thing, this, this way about her, and I like her, okay? And I'm not gonna defend it or apologize about it. In your room before. Hmm. Well, it hasn't changed much over the years. Uh-oh, is she gonna see, like, Catherine? What she looks like? Yup, I was right. We found Logan's body out by the old cell warehouse. It's been disposed of. He was hoarding victims. Innocent victims. I knew something like that was about to happen. Who the freak is that? The teacher? Okay, it's not the teacher. Bruh. Who the freak? It's this other vampire. Who is this other vampire, y'all? Tell me in the comments who this vampire is. <sighs> okay, that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until episode 11, I'll see you guys later. Bye.